Welcome to Specific Love. Today I'm going to show you how to make this awesome tic-tac-toe toilet paper holder where the bottom rolls look like they're floating in midair. Let's begin. We currently have a spare bathroom in our basement that is more of a storage unit than it is for its looks. It also does not have a great place for the toilet paper holder except on a wall directly behind or in front of the toilet. So I decided to make a wall mounted tic-tac-toe holder where it looked like the bottom rolls were floating in midair. I started off with some 1x5 lumber because it was about the depth of a standard roll of toilet paper. I cut 4 pieces to 16 and a half inches and 10 pieces to 6 and a half inches. And to combine these together, I needed to have some dado cuts in a few key locations. But my current table saw sled did not allow that deep enough of a cut. So I grabbed some 1 8 inch plywood scrap that I had left over from another project and quickly put together a new sled allowing maximum cut from the blade. Moving back to the cut lumber, I measured out 5 inches from each end and marked a 3 quarter inch cut using the thickness of the other pieces of wood. I then clamped all 4 pieces together and moved over to my table saw where I carefully made several repetitious cuts with my standard blade to fully cut out the dado spacing needed. Just remember it is always easier to make additional cuts to the correct depth instead of removing too much wood. When done correctly, you should be able to invert one of the boards and both of these cuts should line up perfectly with each other. I then carefully used some sandpaper and a file to help remove all the burrs that could cause a problem with putting these pieces together. I then gave it a quick test fit and it turned out very snug for the first cut. So I carefully separated the boards and added some wood glue and gently tapped them back together. I then took the 6.5 inch board to my table saw where I cut dados at the center of each. And then glued those in the shape of an X. In the process of hammering these together, there's always a chance for them to split, and if they do, just take some extra wood glue and clamp them back together. After giving the glue a little time to dry, I tried to test fit the X's in the frame and found out that it was just slightly too long. So I took them back to the table saw, where I removed just the corner edges of each X, and they fit perfectly. Next up was to give the frame a double coating of a mahogany stain, which turned out beautiful. And for each of the X's, I sprayed on a light blue to create a big contrast in colors. This should allow anyone passing by to quickly notice the new decor. With the frame and the X's complete, I needed a way to hold the toilet paper to the base of the frame and allow them to appear floating in space. So I grabbed some 3 quarter inch flat bar aluminum and made a rough measurement of the size of the toilet paper and cut it to shape. I then sanded all the edges for safety and bent the bar into a C shape on my vise with a hard rubber mallet. I next drilled a couple holes in each bar so I could attach it to the bottom of the frame. I then marked each space, tapped each hole, and pre-attached each screw to make assembly a little easier in the space. A quick test fit showed the toilet paper was snug and secure, making it appear to almost float in its home. Now to attach the X's, I carefully applied some CA glue and held them in place for a few seconds. And to help keep the aluminum hidden, I used a flat black paint on each of the brackets. Turning the decor over, I installed some sawtooth hangers and some self-adhesive protective bumpers to help secure the tic-tac-toe frame to the wall without causing damage from vibration. I then tapped in some nails to the wall making sure they are level and hung up the tic-tac-toe display. And it looked better than I imagined. This is a great way to hold your toilet paper and have decor at the same time. Now if you enjoyed this project, make sure to click the like button, tell us what you think about it in the comments. Also, I have some other videos right over here that go along with this project, so you might want to check those out. Otherwise, have fun building!